Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are here at the rooftop pigeon trapping adventure. Uh, this is what the third day, fourth day I've had the traps out. And uh, one thing about this I, I wasn't really able to uh, explain to y'all. I'm only able to go on the rooftop during business hours, which is fine, you know, but like on Sundays they're closed. So I wasn't able to check them at all yesterday. Today is Monday. So Sunday, they have sat for a while. Luckily yesterday, uh, it was pretty cloudy and it wasn't very hot. But I've been sitting here scouting the pigeons, watching them, and they have been landing on our rooftop a lot more than they were. I'm excited to see what's up there. So this is the way up to the roof. I've never showed you guys the entire journey. It's quite the journey, let me tell you. You guys might enjoy this. It's really cool. A lot of these old buildings downtown like this have so much character. And when they showed me up here, they're like, have you ever been upstairs yet? And I'm like, no, you're supposed to show me. They're like, oh, you're gonna love it. What's up, man? So there's this little lock. Here we go. Well, you can see all the rocks. All the rocks came uh, from my bucket here when I put down all that food. All that food, I left a big pile right there. It is all gone. And look, check this out. There are fresh turds everywhere where that pile was. Wow. Well, we got their attention obviously. They know it's here gonna get a little windy sorry guys oh and before we go any farther check out that new ducks hat oh yeah patch hats we're coming out with some dope new hats y'all better be ready for them here is this trap remember we sat it out on the edge of the roof sorry for the wind but the food is staying in there pretty good not blowing too bad I'm looking I'm looking for remnants of, uh, there is some food blown up in here in the corner. That's what's gonna be one of the initial problems, like I said before, was uh, up here, it's really windy. I gotta get against this wall because it's so windy. Um, it tends to blow the food around. So, this pile back here, I can tell that it was eight. It just got all eaten up, so that's good. Um, now, since that's all ate up, I'm thinking about moving that trap back over here with new food. Hmm, there was a bird right by it when I got here. I'm thinking that's the move. That should work about right there. Uh, I like it right here a lot better too because there's not near as much wind. I think that'll be the move so our food doesn't go blowing around on us. There we go, that's all we need. Uh, this isn't like the truck stop up here, y'all. Uh, this food is very limited. They don't find food like this on top of rooftops. You know what I'm saying? At truck stops, they find it all the time. But you can imagine these city birds that are feeding, roosting, flying, just living on top of all these rooftops. Food is very limited up here. I can tell you right now. So when they find this, like they already did, they demolish that pile. So. It's not gonna take near as much food. What I did was just sprinkle a little bit by the door to get their attention, and a little bit by this door to get their attention, but a big pile in the middle. Oh yeah, oh look, check that out. Two of them over there already feeding on the open pile where the trap was. Check that out. That's one thing about these city birds is, I'm afraid they're gonna be very, very smart. 
they're gonna be hard I, I can tell you once they get used to the trap once they get used to being around it that right there just showed me uh, once I moved that trap off of it two birds seen that it wasn't there they knew the food was there they went right to it and I'm still up here on the roof so we just it is it's identical to the truck stop I, I'm so glad I was able to learn how to trap the truck stop before I came to rooftops because what I learned is very very valuable to trapping in general whether you're trapping coons pigeon skunks it don't matter pigeon traps you have to allow the birds to get used to the trap they want the food they just have to get used to that structure the trap itself they got to spend some time around it they got to learn to trust the trap before they commit to the trap you know what i'm saying man that rooftop over there is absolutely loaded I'm gonna try to show you. See if I can zoom in there and show you all. Crop that down. That rooftop right there is absolutely stacked. I've been trying to get permission on that bad boy. Right there, I guarantee you there is, uh, and there's another 20 coming to it. There's probably 100 birds easily there right now. So we're right across the street. That's why this, that's why this pile done disappeared once already. So we're gonna let this bake today. I'm gonna come back probably two times today. I'm, I'm gonna be here a bunch, checking it out, seeing what's going on. Look at that big old group landing over there. I told you, that building is insane. That's the main roof spot right there. Holy cow. But we are gonna come back over here and pick up this little pile because I do not want the birds having a free meal. You know what I'm saying? Another thing, I'm thinking about uh, picking a spot in the shade or in general just bringing up the spring trap. What do y'all think? Thinking about sitting it out today. The only reason I don't want to sit it out is because for one, it would work. I guarantee you out on that corner, it would work perfectly, but I'm not able just to check it all the time. I can come up here whenever during business hours, but I'm thinking about putting it up here because we really do need two traps on this one roof we still have that roof behind me to use well 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 we are back here at the house and gonna check on the pigeons here here's just like I said in in the last video in one of the last videos check it out yeah he's pretty skittish but that red dude he that is not Clark that is not our Clark Griswold right there that's that red male that I was telling you guys about in one of the last videos. I was saying, I don't think Clark's the dad. I used to think he was a dad, but that guy is sitting on the nest for her all the time now. But check it out. There is our two lovely little eggs just a bacon. And the normal rate is usually 19 days until pigeon eggs hatch. Right now, I think we're sitting at... The first egg dropped probably seven days ago, and then the second egg dropped about two to three days ago. We got about a week, week and a half left. But I came out here, I need to feed and water these guys. Look at them, just chilling. Just a chilling. There's one of our new mating pairs, one of the white birds right there. But I need to feed and water them, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to upload today's video, and then we're going to go back to the rooftop and give her a good look over. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we get something. But I'm not posting this video until we trap a bird on that darn rooftop. I'm serious. caught pigeon first trap pigeon y'all look at that <laughs> I felt like today was the day I felt like today was the day I really did yes need to shut that. <laughs> first successful trapping oh that's awesome perfect man oh let's get him out Holy smokes, I can't believe it. 
already that was fast that was a lot faster than the truck stop and uh, I imagine so because um, the food up on rooftops like I said earlier it's extremely limited so when you put food up on these buildings where these birds are just used to being they find that food really really fast just like this guy right here he's actually an older bird too he's got nice eyes on him looks like a male I'll have to get a better look at him that is that is awesome there we go check him out first one no band Woo! check that out that's perfect because we actually just traded in our last feral caught at the truck stop so now we got a new feral in there that's an older bird check him out good looking eyes on him small pupil older bird <laughs> if you guys are liking these rooftop trapping videos you got to smash that thumbs up right now let's get this video well over 2,000 likes come on y'all I wanted to do this rooftop trapping check it out rooftop trapping I wanted to do this for one reason there's nobody else that does this on YouTube I want to be the one that brings it to y'all awesome content that's what we're after y'all but here we go <laughs> first one in the bucket baby that's a win now what's really nice is uh, right after about noon noon o'clock that is the Sun comes over the peak of this wall but up until noon this entire space right here is all shaded all the way to sunset it's not shaded at all so what I'm gonna be doing is checking this trap twice a day every bit of twice a day once in the early morning and then well probably once about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning and then once at about now which is about 4 30 in the afternoon five o'clock remember I have to be at the business checking these pigeons running these traps when it is business hours when they're open I don't have a key I just come and go as I please while they're open so it should work uh, over there though that is an insane rooftop that I still want to get on but we are in the heartbeat of the downtown area where all the pigeons literally flock we already caught one in two days of the trap being up here you can only imagine how crazy trapping up on just this one rooftop is gonna get once winter rolls around y'all when winter rolls around I can tell you right now that we're gonna be pulling probably minimum 10 birds a day off of this one rooftop so this one that I'm on it's a cherry I'm so glad I did my scouting and found this rooftop because it's already paid off you seen when I came around the corner here two birds were actually roosting right here right here on this ledge you can see all their poop so this is gonna be an epic spot especially when the cold does come around it's gonna give them a little bit of a windbreak it's really nice too because there's like some rooftop grit up here already it's everything you need up here this is awesome remember guys please take 1.2 seconds out of your day right now watching this video and smash the thumbs up button it helps so much propel this video to get more views and to help the growth of the channel so if you guys like these videos help a brother out smash that thumbs up for me well we are back at the house and it's time to take our new friend to the loft I have plans for these pigeons that I'm gonna be catching on the rooftops y'all I'll tell you in just one second let me get this pigeon in here Oh, hi, Soph. Hi, Soph. Oh, hi, Frederick. Hey, man, what are you doing? Old Frederick, he knows what's in the bucket. But uh, we got a plan for these guys. We're eventually going to take them all over to Jordan's. All these pigeons that I'm going to be trapping on rooftops, they're all going to go to Jordan's house. Here he is, though. This is our buddy. He's actually really, really calm. Look at that. He doesn't mind a thing. Very calm pigeon. Very much older guy for sure you guys have to drop a comment down below male or female I'm calling male blue check action though but here we go this is your temporary home bud just for a bit at least there he goes like I said he's a tame guy he doesn't mind much go on say hi to the other people go on say hi to your new buddies go on I'll bump you with the camera go on 
Now well, he says, I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I was telling you guys prior, I don't know, a few videos ago. I was telling you guys that a lot of these rooftop pigeons we're going to take to Jordan's house. Now, what he has done, he has already started preparing the big barn loft. Like the last one you've seen of Dustin's, Jordan's making his own, just like it. And half of it's already done, so uh, that bird can actually go out there any day. What do you want? You're just a happy boy. You're just a happy boy. But I think we're gonna wait. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we keep catching these things. If we start ramping up and catching more and more and more, uh, we'll probably be taking out five or ten at a time, hopefully. But by winter, I can guarantee you we'll be taking out five to ten a day. So, the idea is to load Jordan's loft up. Just completely load it up. A hundred, two hundred feral pigeons. I don't know, but we're gonna try to get it way up there. So stay tuned, uh, probably on the next video, I'm sure. Maybe next or, I don't know, sometime this week. Because we are uploading pretty much every day. We're gonna take our feral pigeons that we've gathered this week and take them out to Jordan. So be expecting that video to come, y'all. If you guys have not hit that notification bell down there, literally take the 0.2 seconds it takes, smash that little bell down there. It'll notify you, give you a little notification, pop up on your phone when your boy uploads. You'll never miss a video because these rooftop videos are getting ready to get crazy. I can't believe I'm actually making it happen. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys for being here without y'all. I couldn't be doing fun stuff like this, awesome stuff. And with the waterfowl season here to come, we're ramping up, y'all. You already know. You already know. That new Ducks hat? Oh, yeah. It'll be available on the Ducks site here before long. So, guys, be expecting a lot of awesome videos to come. Be expecting a lot of new Ducks merch to come. A ton of new items for y'all. But again, thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real